So you're thinking about moving to Maple Valley, Washington. Well, stick around because in this video, it's going to be super in-depth video just about Maple Valley. So we're going to start off by getting my computer, hopping on the map feature so that we can show you where Maple Valley is actually located in relation to the airport, Seattle, Bellevue, the mountains, everything you're going to want to do. Second part is we're going to look at and identify the top four neighborhoods that I've identified. And we're going to look at those in the map again to find out, you know, where it's located, which shopping center you're going to go to, which golf course is right there. And then we're going to actually take you in the car vlog style and show you around those neighborhoods after we talk about each one specifically. So if you are looking to learn as much as you possibly can about Maple Valley, this is definitely the video for you. So stick around and we're going to get after it right now. So as I mentioned, we are hopping in the computer. This is where we're at right now, Zoom recording, and we're going to be looking at the Maple Valley map. So let's start on there. Let me do a screen share here and we will hop in. So here we are, you guys. We're in the map feature here uh, and we're looking at Maple Valley. So I use Google because it kind of gives me a quick outline, although I will say this is actually interesting. So we're going to zoom out. So actually, if you look at like uh, the MLS, there is properties that are up here that actually have a Maple Valley address. So it is kind of an interesting border. I'm not sure what Google's got going on here. I know for a fact some of these are still a Maple Valley address. Hobart's not really a city name. Miramont is part of Issaquah. So the, the real border is up here, although this is much more rural. There's a little bit less houses here, but we can hop in the MLS and show you that too. But I would agree that this is definitely the general Maple Valley. So it is actually a very, very small uh, city as far as like an actual city. It's definitely a lot smaller than Issaquah, uh, obviously Seattle, Bellevue, all that. So let's hop out. That's where we're at. Let's get a sense of where we are in relation to everything else. So we got Seattle right here. So this is about probably 40 to 45 minutes, depending on what part of Seattle. Seattle goes all the way up to here really all the way down to South Seattle here, it kind of meets up with Renton. This is Burien. So it depends if you're a South Seattle, middle or North, but let's just say like the Seahawks stadium <laughs> or the Mariner stadium, T-Mobile field. That is probably, I would call about 40 minutes away. Now, another big town here is, uh, let's erase that, is going to be Bellevue. Let me zoom in a little bit more here. Maple Valley here is right here, remember? Okay. So like I said, very small. Seattle is all the way up to the bottom of shoreline, South Seattle here, Burien, Burien's even the Seattle address. So this is really all of Seattle. So you can see Seattle is much, much bigger than Maple Valley. It's just this little town, but we love it there. As you maybe have known from a different video, I live in Maple Valley, a little biased, but I do love it. Um, but yeah, worth noting, it's not that far out from like the main downtown city. So if you're going to T-Mobile Field, right in the, the bulk of it here off I-90 or even, um, you know, Capitol Hill or something here off the 520, they're still reasonably close. So you can get there. I would say you can get to South Seattle in less than a half hour, but I would plan for, if you're going to like the, the Mariners game, Seahawks game, you're probably looking at 40 minutes. If there's a lot of traffic, you can plan for close to an hour. So it is still kind of far, but in the nighttime or something, you can probably get there in about a half hour. It's really not that far. A lot of people also work in Bellevue. So Bellevue is right here. I would say it's just a little bit closer because the traffic tends to happen right here. There gets some backup on the 169. And then uh, I-5 for sure, you're going to hit traffic. And then it's always super trafficy up here in Seattle. Um, but if you're going Bellevue, you'd probably go 169 to 405. And 405 will get some traffic for sure. Uh, you could also go 18 to 90 to get to Seattle. Although I probably, I mean, sorry, Bellevue, wouldn't recommend it most likely. What I do, since I live right here, I work my office where we're at right now is in Issaquah. But I'm actually on this little corner, this part of Issaquah right here. And so if I'm going to be going uh, to even Bellevue from this house, a lot of times I go through Issaquah because this is all a big back road and then go 90 to 405 to land in downtown Bellevue. So yeah, again, still pretty close. Let's call it 30 to 45 minutes on average to Seattle. Uh, pretty similar to Bellevue, a little bit closer. Uh, we'll call it 20, 25 to, to 40 minutes to Bellevue. And then um, as far as what else is around here, as far as the you know where the location is, we got Snoqualmie Pass. Here we go. So Snoqualmie Pass is, is the nearest mountain. It's actually really close. You can see it's not that much farther away from Seattle to Maple Valley, where my point is right here. So 45 minutes to get to, to uh, Snoqualmie Pass. It's a pretty good mountain. You're going to go up here then uh, from 18 to I-90 all the way over here. So hopefully this gives you a pretty good sense of, of where Maple Valley is 
in relation to some of these other um, kind of big cities. We got Tacoma down here. If you've ever heard of Everett, that's a big one. That's way up here. Um, but here we are. So good location. And then let's see what's around just the surrounding areas. So Snoqualmie is a big area and North Bend, that's all over here. We call it the east side. This is all the east side, um, but you're just going to go straight shot from 18. So like for me, I am a member of the Snoqualmie Ridge uh, Golf Club, which is right here, this green part in Snoqualmie on the ridge. So this is about 22 minutes or less. It's a straight shot if you live on the spot where I live. So straight on 18. So 18 is nice because if you're going up to this way, going to the mountains or going to even Issaquah, this is probably your fastest route most of the time. And then that keeps on going uh, straight through Covington and down to Auburn. So some people still work in Auburn Federal Way. If you're not working in Seattle and Bellevue, that could be where you're working. Or you might be in Tacoma, which is just a little bit farther down here at the bottom of the screen. And then around here, Maple Valley, it borders Ravensdale, which is pretty much a farm town. There's really not much going on there. Very little houses um, and then we got Issaquah and Issaquah Hobart. This is all Issaquah, which is a great place. Uh, I'm actually, that's where our office is. I would basically say I'm from there. I'm from the Issaquah Sammamish area. They had a border change at one point. So I, I like to claim that I'm from both of them. <laughs> and then we got Renton. So Renton is, is actually massive. Uh, so if you take off Newcastle, East Renton Highlands right here, Fairwood, uh, Maple, that this is all Renton and downtown rent. So Renton is, so Renton's pretty big compared to Remember, This is Maple Valley right here. Just this little circle right here. Um, and then we got Covington off to the side, also a pretty small area Covington that, that leaks into Kent and Auburn, all this area. So another place that I think is cool to know about here is black diamond. That's right below Maple Valley. Um, so from, you know, middle of Maple Valley to middle of Black Diamond, we're talking about like seven, eight, 10 minutes, something like that. Um, Black Diamond is a really cool spot because they have, um, the new 10 trails community. So I'll do a different video on that. Cause this is a Maple Valley video. I'm just trying to get you an idea of what is going on in the area around Maple Valley. Then we'll go ahead and hop in and tell you what's going on in Maple Valley. 10 trails on Black Diamond is a very big new construction development. It's a master plan community. So there's about 3000 houses. All right, let's hop into Maple Valley. And then like I promised, we'll get into the my favorite neighborhoods, where they're located and all that good stuff. Okay, so here we are. So first off, let me get my, my handy dandy pen again. Okay, so Tahoma High School is a big one. Uh, a lot of people know that, you know, Maple Valley is known for it's a great school district. So one of the main reasons why I moved to Maple Valley is because of the school district. Tahoma School Districts is a great school district. Tahoma High School is really good. Lake Wilderness Elementary is really good. So good schools all throughout. And it's really cool because this, since this is a little bit farther out from the Bellevue, Issaquah, obviously Seattle, um, the prices are a little bit better as far as the houses go. But you're still you're not really giving up that it's a really, really, really great school district. Um, so that's a really great school there. I'll actually just zoom in since we're since we're looking at schools right now. I might as well show you a few other ones. So right by Lake Wilderness Park, there's going to be the Lake Wilderness um, Elementary, which is right here. You see this highlighted right here. So again, we got the Lake Wilderness Elementary School right there. While I'm over here, I'll, I'll zoom back out so you can see in relation to you know the overall Maple Valley. Um, one of my favorite spots, so this is all, I won't show you my house, but I live on this uh, golf course. So Lake Wilderness Golf Course right here, all these green things, that is the golf course. Uh, you can see it's basically just, just down the street from the elementary school. Um, so Lake Wilderness Country Club Drive, the, the big road here, that has nice houses on it all the way through here. And it's all on the golf course, which is awesome. So that's a pretty cool attraction. Um, so kind of toward the north end of Maple Valley here, right where it intersects with 18 and 169. That's where we got our first shopping center. It's a smaller one. So this is the one that I would go to if you're in the Lake Wilderness area, um, but it's got your QFC, you know, it's got some pho, it's got Domino's. Um, this is actually a really good place. Divine Whiskey and Wine, super cool spot. Um, Bartels, Subway, all the good stuff. Oh, this Mealtime Hamburger is also super good. Um, so this is like a pretty small um, shopping center. I'll, I'll show you guys some content of it right now, um, but it, it's, it's relatively small, but it's, it's all I need. So like for me, where I live, since I live on the golf course, just down South, right uh, here, I live right around here. That's where I go. I don't care that there's a much better, bigger shopping center over here at four corners with Fred Meyer and stuff. It doesn't matter. QFC has got the groceries I need. And so it's nice that, you know, Maple Valley is already not that big, but I have my own shopping center right here. Then pretty much everyone else down in the main section 
is going to have the four corners. So let's go there next. So four corners is the intersection here, Kent Canely Road, and then here 169. So that's the big intersection right here. You can already see it though. So I would say four corners is basically, this is all commercial area right here. This whole section right here, not, not those houses, but right there. Um, so Crockett's public house, that's an awesome spot. Me and Derek just went there recently for lunch. I got the spicy chicken uh, sandwich, so good. Uh, hop and drop, so this is a cool spot. Uh, we'll show you some footage here of this area, but it's got everything you need. It's got uh, shopping wise, you know, Fred Meyer, Walgreens. Uh, there's also a Safeway on the other side of Kent Canley. So you can see right here. So Safeway on this side, this has like Mud Bay. I bet if I zoom in closer, we can see all the stores, but we'll show you some content on the drive-bys, but there is really a lot. I mean, Emerald City Smoothie, um, pretty much everything you need out of a regular old, you know, shopping center uh, and commercial area. You can see all this stuff here. Grocery outlet, Panera, uh, Walgreens, BCU, some banks, obviously Fred Meyer, Great Clips, Sports Clips, Chase Bank, Thai Cuisine. There's another great restaurant right here. What's that one? The original Pancake House. There we go. McDonald's, all that stuff. Tire store right here. It doesn't show you right here, but so this is four corners. So really good shopping center. It won't do it justice on the map. You'll have to see it in the footage, um, but this is a great spot too. And then as far as other attractions in Maple Valley, we got Lake Wilderness. Lake Wilderness is fantastic. That is right here. Obviously the big old body of water here, the lake. And this has a really good um, park. So the Lake Wilderness Park comes off right here. It's this whole area right here. And it actually is pretty massive. So uh, it is protected area. I bring my kids there. It's a really great spot to go, uh, obviously for the water itself, but there's also the playground, the parks, uh, tennis courts or pickleball baseball fields um they pretty much got it all there so really huge park we'll show you some footage of that too um so that's one of my favorite parts about um a maple valley is is this lake wilderness park super cool park uh, and then we got summit park which is also a really good one again the map won't do it justice for what it looks like yeah that's cool so yeah you can see it's got so these are you know, they have soccer fields, of course, too, but they're baseball fields and soccer fields. So three baseball fields. And when the Little League play, people come here like we do with our kids who are in T-ball five years old, there's like four games going on, on one field. They have like, you know, field A is like the corner, field B, this corner, this corner, this corner. So there's a bunch of games going on, a bunch of kids running around. It's good fun. They also got the skate park right here. It looks really small when you're there in person. It's not so small, but awesome little skate park. This is also the back uh, parking lot for Tahoma High School. So Tahoma High School is right here and they have an amazing facility. Look at this facility. So Tahoma High School is, is really an amazing school. Um, recently remodeled, actually recently constructed. The Tahoma High School that they, they didn't just like remodel this existing area, they built this thing. And the old one used to be way over here and it's not even there anymore. So they just like, hey, we need a new one. We're not gonna remodel the, the old one. We're gonna just demo that one and build new. So here we go again, four corners. You can kind of see it a little bit better on this view, just big parking lots and just a bunch of commercials. So lots of parking spaces. And then each building has all their um, different stores here. So you can see this is the big Fred Meyer. Across the way, we got Safeway. And then actually I'll be able to show you the Lake Wilderness probably a little bit better here on the map too. So here's the main part of the park, I would say with the, the sand and the, and the big dock of Lake Wilderness Park. Obviously some parking over there. So this is the clubhouse. So if you want to rent it out for some stuff, then if you go over here through the lot, we got the baseball fields and the playground. Oh, too bad the playground's kind of in the trees. You can't see it, but it's actually a really good, good size playground. Tennis courts, baseball, and then more exploring and water. The cool part is, is all these woods. So like the kids just, they just go crazy out here. It's really fun. Okay, so let's hop into the neighborhoods now. So again, we're doing the top four neighborhoods that I've identified. The first one, all right, so let's hop into the neighborhoods. Okay, so first one, I'm gonna go with my neighborhood. This is Lake Wilderness. So uh, I was gonna, I saved it for an attraction too because I knew I was gonna go here anyway, but uh, Lake Wilderness Golf Course is right here. So this is a municipal, it's nothing, it's not a fancy private golf club or anything like that, um, but it is an awesome little course. It's owned by the city, so it's always maintained. Um, they put on cool events and all that kind of stuff. So um, yeah, really cool little golf course. And so this road, Lake Wilderness Country Club Drive Southeast, it's a mouthful. That goes up from the entrance 
to the end of the golf course. And that basically is the entire neighborhood. There's like two little side streets, but mostly it's just this big, long road, as you can see. And then the intro here. Um, but the cool part is, is almost every house, I would say 80% of them at least are on the golf course, which is great. So you can see here, this is a hole right here. It's not a very good one, but so these guys are on the course, these guys are on the course towards this hole, this road, these guys are all on the, the 13th and 14th coming down. These guys are all on the course. So it's cool because almost every house again is on the course, even in this section here, this is, these guys are on the course. These guys, there's like three houses that aren't right here. Cul-de-sac's not. These guys aren't. These guys aren't. And then, you know, right here we are. This is my house right here on the 15th. Um, so love this neighborhood. Um, what I like about it is it's on the golf course. So if you're in the neighborhood, you probably are actually on the golf course. So as far as prices and stuff go in this neighborhood, um, actually, you know, let's go with proximity first. So what I like about it is, is that, again, we have uh, the QFC right here. So Yes, Four Corners, Fred Meyer, the whole stuff over here, you know, that's like your main shopping center. It's much, much bigger, much more things to do. So like if you're going to go like do the, you know, bars and happy hour and stuff, you're probably going to go there, whatever. It's only like eight minutes away from me. Um, but it's cool that I can just do um, the QFC right here. We'll show you that shopping, shopping center too. So for me to go to the store, and again, it's just a few things. It's just the QFC, Starbucks, you know, Bartels, whatever. Uh, bank and up here we have some we have dominoes pho, like i told you the divine whiskey and bar whiskey and wine very awesome spot um, but this is literally like i mean i could walk there if i wanted to so the lake wilderness golf course um neighborhood right here that's a great uh location because you you're you're straight away from that shopping center i love being on the golf course now as far as prices and stuff go we'll take a look at the neighborhood in just a minute um but as far as prices go, you know, I would say the low end is about 700,000, something like that. Um, so that's more of your starter home. There's actually one listed right now at like 15, four, or like 1,400 square feet. Um, that is like 725. That would be the lowest price sale of the year, though. Um, hopefully this video lasts forever. So I don't know if I don't want to speak too much about the market because it could, probably can change. But right now, things have slowed down. We are in July of 2022 right now. And so we had a crazy hot spring and, uh, you know, now things have slowed down. Um, so this house would have been probably worth close to 800 actually like four months ago. It's been crazy, but anyway, uh, low end is going to be the 700s. I would, and I would say houses are still closing right now at 800. I would say 800 to 850 is probably the average because actually 50, 1400 square feet is one of the smallest houses in the neighborhood. When we do the drive through, you guys will see they're mostly a little bit bigger size. So there's a lot of three car garages, um, but I would say the average is right around 2000. So I would say this, this neighborhood kind of makes up like your median price point. We're calling that 750 to 850, call it an $800,000, you know, median price point in Maple Valley. This is what you're getting from that. This is what makes up of that, that general, you know, uh, average price point. We are at a, you know, three, four bedrooms, 2000 square feet. That's going to be like the average home here. That's also going to be in the whole area of Maple Valley, your average price point in general. So if you're an $800,000 home buyer, uh, you're getting about the median of Maple Valley, which is still going to get you a good house, a four bedroom, you know, two and a half bath, 2000 square feet, give or take, of course. Um, so that's, that's Lake Wilderness, um, neighborhood. So another thing about Lake Wilderness golf course, um, community here in neighborhood is they're a little bit older, older houses. So there's a little bit of a premium because they're on the golf course probably, um, but they're not like new construction. So these things were built mostly in the eighties, the late eighties. Uh, there's three different developers that did it. So they're kind of in phases, but they're all very similar houses. I would say that the ones at the top of the hill are the nicest ones um, down to the lower end, um, the ones towards the bottom of the, the entrance of the golf course. So a little bit older homes, but still really well built. Uh, this little neighborhood right in here, right in here is really nice. It's technically not Lake Wilderness Country. Like it's not part of the HOA. So different builder It's just this little, like, you know, 20 houses. They're actually really nice. I would say I probably like them better. And I still consider it all the locals here. I mean, it's, it's the same neighborhood. They technically have their own little tiny HOA. Um, I don't live in one of these specific houses, so I don't know how it's exactly governed, but we love the look of the houses and they're still a very similar time frame built because the golf course was built with the house. So there it's still late 80s um, but there's been some more updates and stuff like that in there so there you have it this is the lake wilderness golf course community
Um, I'm not covering it today, but we will show you the Lake Wilderness um, Lake itself has a pretty cool spots too. There's not that many houses on it. So it's not one of those lakes that's completely surrounded with houses. There is no houses on this side. This is, these are not, these are woods. The, this road right here, these houses aren't like on the lake. You couldn't see it from here. So there's really only a few houses on the lake. And those are all uh, right here on this side, right here. And then this one road only on the left side of the road, of course, those are the ones on the lake. So those are gonna be a little bit more expensive. They got a good view. There's some of them are on a hill. Some of them are more like on the water, but that's a pretty cool spot too. All right, let's hop out of here and show you another great neighborhood. So I would say, even though I don't live there, this is probably my favorite neighborhood. So remember four corners is this entire area right here. You know, all this um, commercial area, four corners on the corner of Kent Kingley. There we go. All that awesome stuff to do. And then remember the other, one of the other features that I uh, told you guys about was Summit Park, right? And Tahoma High School. So the reason I love this spot so much Oh, look at this. Some of them aren't even built on Google Maps yet. So this is a new construction community. This is built by Quadrant, now known as TriPoint Homes. When they first started selling, it was Quadrant. Quadrant is a um, pretty local builder. So they've been doing it for a long time in our area and probably like the whole region. So a few states over here in Washington. They were recently purchased about a year and a half ago by um, TriPoint Homes, which is a national uh, builder. So here we go. This is the community. So these things were built in about 2019, like probably the first one, all the way till the end of 2020, I think was probably their sellout. Actually, it was, they probably closed their last home early 2021. So these are relatively new builds. Um, some of them as, as much as like just a year ago, year and a half ago. I love this community. So again, the first reason I like it is because of the proximity to everything. Um, we got, oops. We got the four corners right over here. So walking distance to Safeway, Fred Meyer, all that stuff. And then also right in the backyard, we got the Summit Park. So I love that part of it. The Summit Park is amazing. Um, it's got the skate park, like I already mentioned, all that cool stuff. And then these houses are great. I really loved Quadrant when they were their own builder. And I still love TriPoint. So they're just a good builder that I like. And if you're, you know, this is going to be the top end of the market here. Um, there's not like really a lot of mansions in Maple Valley. There is some at the top where you're like on the river, maybe a few acres or something. But this general hub area, not really a bunch of mansions or estates where you have like, you know, five acres or something. Um, so pretty traditional houses and neighborhoods. But this is just one of my favorite ones in the area because, again, it's a newer construction, but it's just the perfect, perfect location. Like my kids play T-ball at the Summit Park right here. Uh, you know, Fred Meyer is a great place to shop at. They have Crockett's, Panera, all the stuff that we would want to do, like as far as um, dining out is right here. Um, and then also my kids aren't that aren't old enough yet, but eventually Tahoma High School right here, literally walking distance. In fact, this street right here goes to Summit Park. So like if you're anywhere in this neighborhood, your actual neighborhood street literally goes to this park. And this park also literally attached to the back parking lot of Tahoma High School. So you're good for walking distance to your park. You're good for walking distance to your high school. And then all the complex stuff that the high school has, the baseball fields, the football fields. So love the proximity to everything. That's my favorite part. Um, but also these houses are fantastic. They're amazing. They're also on the higher side of like what your price points are gonna be in this area because they are relatively new construction. We can basically call them new construction. So these things, I mean, right now, they're one sold for 1.3 million as a resale. Uh, that was a little crazy. It was listed closer to a million, but that was in, you know, it was probably listed in March, which was literally the peak of our market. And then things have gone down since then. Obviously interest rates are double since uh, January. Um, if you're watching this in 2022. So anyway, long story short, there's one that just went pending very recently at like 1.1. So I would say, obviously, you know, pending your market, if you guys are actually moving here and maybe you're seeing this in 2025, I don't know. Um, then, you know, these prices may or may not be accurate, but obviously we're in tune with the market. We sell houses every day, so we can definitely help you um, navigate and find out, you know, what the house prices are right now. Um, but currently today, I would say 1.1 to 1.2 to, to maybe actually as low as a million, depending on how the market goes. That's what these new construction houses are going to get you. Year built 2019 to 2021 square footage range. Um, they did go pretty low to like the 20, you know, 2000 square feet, probably the lowest, but they have houses up to the like almost 4,000 range. 
the ones on Kent Canling, these like four or five right here, they're kind of on a slope. So these are actually basement homes. So these are 35, 3,800 square feet. Those ones are probably closer to 1.4 even right now. Um, so pretty big range, 1 million to 1.4, we'll say for these houses, depending on your size and square footage. Um, but just an amazing neighborhood. Absolutely love it. So we'll hop in the car now and show you this place right now. Okay, and now another area we're gonna look at here is gonna be Cherokee Bay Park. All right, so Cherokee Bay here, here is the outline. It's basically up to this lake and then it kind of comes out of Whit Road and that's, that's pretty much it. So this whole area right here, really awesome spot. Um, the reason I'm showing you this one, it's not like it's my favorite neighborhood or anything, um, but I'm showing it to you because you can probably get your best bang for your buck in this neighborhood. So if you're a first time home buyer and this is like an entry level home for you, then this is probably a neighborhood that you might want to start in unless your entry level home is, you know, a million plus then, then by all means get out of there. Um, but this has a lot of ramblers, you know, uh, one story houses, three bed, one bath, three bed, two bath, uh, 1100 to 1500 square feet with a little bit bigger backyards. These are a little bit older houses as well. But yeah, really nice neighborhood because you can get your starter home. Like right now, there's two listed for the low, low 500s, like 505 and 515 for like your starter home. Okay, so remember that the Lake Wilderness neighborhood is kind of like your middle of the road, 800,000, give or take, four beds, 2,000 square feet, pretty traditional home, two-car garage. Here, you got some Ramblers with either no garage or, or a small garage, 500 to 600,000, 625, depending on, you know, what kind of house it is, of course. They do have bigger size houses too, um, and they have a few teardowns that are actually new construction at 3,000 square feet that kind of throw off the average. But I would say this is really mainly going to be your starter houses. Uh, it's a little bit of an older neighborhood, so it's not quite as nice as some of these other neighborhoods that we're seeing. But I want to show you the whole picture. Maple Valley is not, I know a lot of um, people who do these videos, they only show you like either the mansions or like the best neighborhoods. This is what I would say is probably the lower end neighborhood in the area, but it's still 
the, the great part about Maple Valley is that it's 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 still all it's all very like safe, right? So this is probably one of the worst neighborhoods, honestly, quite frankly. I, I hopefully no one's watching this that lives there. There's nothing wrong with it. It's actually got an awesome little park here. I'll show you. Um, but I'm, I'm saying that because it's still like totally a great neighborhood and totally safe. It's just the houses are not as nice as some of the other neighborhoods. But Maple Valley has super low crime and just a really great place to live, really safe. It's only just across the street from that golf course, too. So let me hop in. And we'll show you um, the park, which is super cool. So here we go. And we'll show you some footage here when we do the drive through. But here's the park. Uh, another little lake, right? So we got two different lakefront areas that are that are open to the public. This is technically private. Lake Wilderness is public. But there you go. So that's Cherokee Bay. Again, we're looking at like the 500 to 600,000 for like your your starter home price point. And then, you know, up to the 800, up to the median price range for some of those other houses um, for like a newer construction in that area. But no million dollar houses, really. Uh, there might be a couple like on the lake, maybe, but it, yeah, not really. So that's another great neighborhood. And so we'll go ahead and do a drive through and show you some of the houses. And then we'll we'll pan through that lake as well right now. guys let's hit the next neighborhood so so far we got our lake wilderness neighborhood right here we got our cherokee bay right here we got the summit park and this one's called Overlake, right at the uh, four corners the intersection which is my favorite one then let's go up here a little bit more so you can see maple valley is not very big right so there's not a ton of neighborhoods here um so both this side of 169 and this side are both so there's so many small neighborhoods i'm not even going to identify an actual neighborhood because it would be like just this little like you know one subdivision that the builder did like 15 houses on that street um there's some a little bit bigger ones but we're just going to go through the general areas right so both of these are really good so these ones i would say on the south side of 169 more a little bit more luxury but the older school ones so these are probably 90s built and a little bit bigger lots. And there's some really big houses out here, like 4,000 square foot houses. Let's just, I don't know what this is, but Happy Hans German Band. I guess they had their Google My Business here, but you can see this is actually one of the houses. Looks like it's a fairly good size house. Um, so I do like this area a lot. And we'll take you through this main drag right here. This is where the big houses are. So I would say because there's multiple builders in this one, there is a pretty um, big discrepancy on prices. You can get your, your lower end, um, call it six to 700,000, probably is the lowest you'll go here. The 500,000 is really only in, in Cherokee Bay, or there might be some Ramblers in here, depends. Um, but you're, it's going to be mostly your median and then some of your higher end, closer to the million dollar range um, for some of these big ones. Some of them are going to be above a million. Some of these ones that are up on this hill here that are um, you know 4,000 square feet, and some of them are even newer construction too. Um, and they have some big lots. Now over here, we have much more uh, newer construction too. So I was just doing an open house. We're selling one over here somewhere, right over here. Um, and there's a new development coming out too. So Lennar, so this is our shopping center right here. Uh, excuse me, the Starbucks is right over here. It doesn't even look like it's on the map, but it, it is right here. And if you go down this area, there's a little roundabout right here. This is gonna be a new development. So that's pretty cool. They're still building out over here. Oh, here's where the listings is right here. So right here, these are actually some townhomes. So this one is actually 2,400 square feet right here. Um, and it's technically a townhome. It's one of those duplexes. So it has a garage um, attached to it, but you also have a wall that's another another house. So townhomes, they're duplexes side by side. And that one's listed at, um, it's in the seven, 725 right now. And it's 2,400 square feet. So it's pretty big, right? So that's like uh, an example of like some of the townhome type properties. And then they also have big 3000 square foot houses in this one. So again, multiple builders in this area. And yeah, price points are going to range from your 700s up to your million dollar properties. But 
really, really good spot to be. Again, it's great location. The, the great part about Maple Valley is that you're pretty much near everything, right? Like uh, of these four neighborhoods that I've done so far, they're all close to some sort of shopping. There's the QFC area over here. The Four Corners is like three minutes away, right? Pretty close. All right, so let's go take a look at, we're gonna drive through both these neighborhoods right now and just give you an idea of what these look like. Let's get it. If it was four months ago, different than what it is today, <clears throat> but really great houses. I love Main View. This would be on my top list, my number one, probably if it wasn't for the, I just love the location of the um, Overlook one right here next to the Summit Park and, and the high school. But I love both builders, right? So this is a great location, also very close to everything. So yeah, these things built last few years, square footage wise, I mean, 2,400 square feet to 3,500 square feet. So they're definitely good full size houses with, with garages, they're new construction. So like most new construction in this area, they're, they're cookie cutter. They're right next to each other. Right. So not very big yards. That's what both these new construction communities, um, you know, pretty small backyards. Um, you're just right next to the neighbor on, on the side, uh, but a really great looking neighborhood. The HOA is good. So everyone takes care of their stuff. Price points one to 1.2, depending on, you know, what size uh, house that is, that could change. Maybe there's going to be some that sell in the 900s now too. In fact, I would say that it's 900 to 1.1. Um, there's definitely going to be some houses that are in the, in the below a million at this point too. Um, so let's go dive in and take a look at this neighborhood and see what you think.
All right, guys. So that's wrapped up the video here for my map video of Maple Valley. Hopefully it was helpful. I know I probably rambled on, uh, on and on and on about a bunch of stuff that maybe you don't want to know, but I live here. I know the area super well. Hopefully I didn't miss anything, but uh, again, the main reasons and my story specifically, by the way, I'm from the area born and raised, not Maple Valley, but just the general area, King County is the Quasimamish area. Um, but we moved here to Maple Valley for specific reasons, right? Our, our family was, uh, my, my in-laws live on the golf course as well. So that was one. <laughs> um, but we love it here because you're getting a much better bang for your buck for the housing prices, but you're not giving up on schools, right? So you can get a much, um, you know, bigger house in like Kent, Auburn, Federal Way than in Issaquah for the same price, like much bigger. They're much, much different markets, but those schools are not so hot. So Maple Valley is in the Tahoma School District, which is really just really up there with the Issaquah and Snoqualmie School Districts. So very good school district, but it's a better bang for your buck getting getting out here as opposed to here, right? If I get my my mat or my tool again, you know, Bellevue, crazy, crazy expensive. Issaquah, very expensive. Snoqualmie, North Bend, also expensive. Um, so it gets a little bit, you know, this is the most expensive. This is like halfway. And then this is, you know, a little bit less. And then ours is Maple Valley is much less than that. So that is the reason because you get everything you need here in Maple Valley, as far as like shopping, entertainment, um, not everything. I mean, if we don't have a movie theater, for example, or like you can't go to the Mariners game, obviously in Maple Valley, but you can't anywhere except for Seattle. So there is some things that you're gonna have to drive through to get to, but you're far enough out that um, the prices have changed enough to like make it worth your while, but you're close enough that you can still do those things. So if we want to go to a movie, we can go to Issaquah, could go to Kent if we want, we just don't like to, um, you know, Mariners game, still got to go up to Seattle, but that's, that's the deets on uh, Maple Valley. So I'm sure I did miss a lot of things, but great schools. It's, it's a really family oriented, you know, neighborhood feel. Um, I feel like I see kids walking around all the time playing. The parks are fantastic. I love Lake Wilderness Park. Um, there's the Cherokee Bay Park. Both are really cool. And there's a variety of housing. You know, you can get your your um, small starter home for the 500s, you know, $800,000 median price range for your standard four bed, 2,000 square feet. And then if you really like new construction or like relatively new, you can be a little bit closer to a million, 900 to a million, 1.1 for like your newer construction, you know, over 3,000 square feet. Um, and that's kind of your price range. Like there's not, there's not going to be a 10,000 square foot mansion on five acres. That is going to be, you know, $10 million that's saved for like Lake Sammamish and stuff. So this is like your everyday, you know, um, middle-class, I would say neighborhood. Uh, and we love it. So anyway, if you have any questions, let me know. I can go over more details, um, with you guys on a specific phone call, text or zoom call. Um, but hit me up, let me know. And thanks so much for watching. Keep an eye out for other videos. You know, remember that each each city is going to have a four point a four part series. I'm hitting up Maple Valley because I live there, obviously. But Derek's going to do North Bend. We both go to Snoqualmie all the time. We're from Issaquah and Sammamish. We grew up there. Uh, we're going to talk about Bellevue, Issaquah, all that good stuff. So stay tuned. Subscribe, notifications, all that. And thanks for watching.